Hey guys, welcome to this week's Kid Connect lesson. I'm so excited that you're here joining us wherever you are. First off, we're gonna start with this week's Remember Verse. It's a little bit of a long one, and we've been working on it, but I know that we can get it down. So say it with me. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Zephaniah 3.17. So raise your hand if you have a younger brother or sister. I do. Do you remember when they were born? New babies bring a lot of excitement. And I bet it would be even more exciting when that baby was the promised Savior, Jesus. For hundreds of years, God's people had faith that the Savior would come. How did God's people know that Jesus was coming? Because God spoke to prophets, like Jeremiah, to speak about the coming Savior. God even sent an angel to tell Zechariah that the Savior was going to be born soon. All of these people trusted or believed God's words, and they obeyed him by doing what he told them to do. For example, Zechariah named his son John, just like God had said. We talked about that last week. When we trust and obey God, that's a part of having faith. It's trusting him even when we can't see what he's doing. And God honors the faith of his people. That's what we're going to talk about today. We've already seen how God honored the faith of his people by fulfilling his promise to send Jesus. Eight days after Jesus' birth, his parents, Mary and Joseph, took him to the temple to officially name him and declare him to be a part of the Israelite people. It's kind of like how today, when you're born, you get a birth certificate with your name on it. In the temple was a man named Simeon, and Simeon loved God. Simeon had been waiting his whole life for God to send the promised Savior. Luke 2.26 says it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. God had promised Simeon that he would meet the Savior before he died. Simeon had faith that God would send the Savior. And remember, God honors the faith of his people. On the day Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple, the Holy Spirit led Simeon to the temple courts. When Simeon saw Jesus, he knew that this baby was the Savior. He took Jesus in his arms and he began to praise God. He said, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. The Savior had come, just as God had promised, and Simeon got to meet him face to face. Imagine how special that moment was. Another person was also in the temple that day, a woman named Anna. Like Simeon, Anna loved God and had waited many, many years for the Savior. The Bible says that she never left the temple, but she worshiped night and day, fasting and praying. And now, after all that time, right before her very eyes, was Jesus. God honors the faith of his people. God honored Anna's faith and fulfilled his promise. And Anna praised God and shared the good news of Jesus with everyone that she could. After their time at the temple that day, Mary and Joseph returned to Nazareth. Jesus grew up as a child, just like all of us, but he was more than just a child. 
he was also God. He came to earth for a very specific purpose, to die on the cross and rise again so that we can be saved. Simeon and Anna waited a long time to meet the Savior, but they had faith that God would keep his promise. God honors the faith of his people. After they met Jesus, they shared the good news with others, and it was incredible news. The Messiah had come to save them and to save us. Truly, God honors the faith of his people. Jesus came as a baby, lived a sinless life, died on a cross, and then rose again after dying so we could be saved and we can live with him forever. We can choose to put our faith in him. We can choose to trust and obey him. Sometimes choosing to have faith can stretch us out of our comfort zones, but God can grow us as we're stretched. And as faithful followers, we can be used by God to share the good news of Jesus with others. If you've put your faith in God, who do you think he wants you to share his good news with? I hope you and your family take some time to talk about that soon. It's important. We want others to have that good news and be able to live forever with Jesus one day. So have an awesome week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.